All right, I got another set of carbide chains that I want to try here and hopefully not fuck up this time. Um, got a, you know, stock 260 Pro uh, with an opened up muffler. Um, and... What I've got is I've got steel 33RD chain. One of them that I have taken the raker off of the drive link and essentially made it a single raker. The other one has still got the factory drive link. And so these are both used chains. They've both been used, but they have a fresh sharpen on them. Like, I sharpened both of these chains on my USG grinder. And I had... I had the settings on the grinder exactly the same for both chains. So the tooth length is exactly the same uh, on both chains. And uh, rakers are set, I think, to 25 thousandths uh, on both chains. Um, again, identical, uh, identical adjustments on the grinder while I was sharpening these chains. And I have not cut anything with them since I've sharpened them. Um, just curious to see if they run there's any noticeable difference between the single raker or double raker. So we'll see. And so saw has been warmed up and good to go on, what is this, like a 16 inch lodge pole <laughs> at a couple thousand feet elevation. I should point out this is the double raker chain that's on there at the moment. And I suppose I should probably mention that this is a 20 inch uh, 72 driver bar now with the single raker chain on there. Oh, and so I'll do three cuts just, you know, letting the saw fall down. 
Um, and then the last one, I'll dog into it and rock it down just because I'm curious. Just tighten the chain a little bit. So to be curious to see how the times compare, but the single raker chain felt a little bit smoother, and um, that's been my experience with it, is that the single raker, raker chains uh, run slightly smoother. But we'll check the times out and see what it looks like.